Hey, so despite the fact that I have an extra long summer to do whatever I want really, I'm still kind of falling behind on the whole making YouTube videos thing. And one of the reasons for that is D of E. <laughs> to those of you who don't know, D of E is an expedition that British kids aged 14 to 18 sometimes take, where basically you go walking in mountains and fields and you have to camp overnight in farms. It's horrible. But luckily I found some cheats that made the whole thing kinda easier, and there doesn't seem to be enough D of E hacks videos on YouTube, so I guess this is a niche. So here's 15 incredible D of E hacks to help you not die on your expedition. <laughs> Let's go. This first one was basically a savior for me on D of E, and it's just bring a roll of bin bags. Jesus Christ, bin bags were the best thing to happen to me on DV. I'm so glad that I brought like 10 bin bags because they were all so useful. You can shove your bag in it to stop it from getting wet. You can put shoes in them. You can cover your feet in them so that your feet don't get wet. They're just the most helpful thing if it rains horribly, which it did for me. Now this one I gotta give credit to the rest of my group for because it wasn't my idea, but it was still, Jesus, incredible. Instead of bringing one clumpy tranger and a bunch of pans that the school supplies and shoving that in a bag, we brought a gas stove, a gas canister, and a kettle, and everyone kind of brought their own little pan, and it was so much better. You don't understand how fast they boil water. It was like a minute, and then we had like, we had like that, the end of Star Wars episode three in water form. I don't know what that was. And you can easily distribute it among the group so that like one person doesn't have to carry everything. Oh, oh, it's, it was such a good idea. Make sure everything you have is waterproof. Just waterproof everything. Put little plastic bags around whatever. Bring a, like a, one of those little protector things for your bag. Cause if it rains, you will want to die. And waterproof stuff will be useless after three hours, but it makes all the difference. And the waterproof spray that your mum has like in the shed somewhere is useless. Do not use it, your shoes will still get wet. In the scenario that everything gets extremely wet because the waterproof spray is useless, use your guide ropes as washing lines. What? It's basically like you are your mum but living in a tent. <laughs> Keep food in your front pockets like that, that should be the priority for your front pockets. Because if you're walking, you will not be bothered to take off your bag and get food. So like, having food in the most like convenient place is so helpful. <laughs> Personally, I recommend bringing lemon sherbets, putting those in the front pocket. They are a lifesaver. You get so many! Oh man, oh I love lemon sherbets. <laughs> now this is a tactic that I am so annoyed I didn't think of, that one of the other groups did when they got lost. You know the new Snapchat map update where you can basically see exactly where you are and exactly where everyone else is? Well, they used the map to find out how far wrong they were and to see where everyone else was and then they used that to like guide themselves to the right path. Oh man, Snapchat, what have you done? <laughs> this one's gonna be really obvious, but drink water. Jesus Christ. My little top tip for water, oh my God, what is this? Um, keep one liter bottles on each side so that they like balance out. Cause if you have two liters on one side and nothing on the other side, you'll just be like, Huh, oh no. So one liter on each side. What? Crazy. DV hacks. <laughs> One thing that I've always done on DV that everyone's been like, whoa, that's so crazy, I should have done that, is make like plastic bags with like meals in each one. So I'll have like lunch one, dinner one, breakfast one, lunch two, dinner two, breakfast two, lunch three, dinner three, so that like I can monitor how much I'm eating in the space of the expedition. It's basically a dietary plan, but for DOV. <laughs> when you're wearing your huge like 15 kilogram DOV bag, make sure most of the weight is on your hips because that's the kind of part of the body that can carry it the best. Because if it's not on your hips, it's gonna be on your shoulders and you're gonna wanna die. For devices like mobile phones, portable chargers are the way to go. Mine was 8,000 milliamps and that was just more than enough for me, you know, and my iPhone runs out of battery so fast because it's on iOS 11 beta 2. I don't know why I needed to specify that. <laughs> and I kept my phone and portable charger in like a little plastic bag that was meant for keeping things away from water because it had like little things to seal and like a little fold with clips and it was extremely cute. Um, but if you don't have that, then use some sandwich bags. But make sure you bring spares, because if they break, you are screwed. On my expedition, it basically rained for three days flat, so there were bogs 
everywhere. And if you're trying to travel through bogs, make sure you stand on the areas where lots of grass is growing so that you don't sink. You'd be surprised how many people just, just sank. <laughs> Bring more clothes than you think you need. For me, it basically rained for three days straight, but I was like, if I bring two of each item of clothing, I'll be fine, because if I get wet in one, I'll just change into the other one, and I'll be fine. But I got wet every single day. By the end of day two, I was basically like that, that puddle girl from Doctor Who. If you're a ginger, bring sun cream. Even if the forecast says it's gonna be like minus eight degrees, bring sun cream. For me, it rained for three days straight. There was no sun. It rained. It rained, rained, rained. Rain, rain, rain. I ended up with sunburn on the back of my neck. I'm still peeling. Bring some money and some earphones for the bus journey. Earphones because music will be the, basically your savior when you're on the bus. And money because if you stop off at a service station and everyone's got money and you don't, you'll basically cry because at the end of D of E, all you'll want is like a box of chicken nuggets. A pen knife is also a really good idea. I have a little pen knife that clips onto my bag really nicely so that if I ever need it, I'm just like, woo, what was that? <laughs> I use my pen knife to open an orange and slice open a bit of rope on a gate that we weren't meant to go through. But still! <laughs> and finally, don't bother bringing a pillow. That's just too much space. Just use your coat or your jumper or something, you know? Pillows are useless on DOV. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're about to do your DOV expedition, then I wish you the best of luck, and I hope this video was slightly useful at most. <laughs> I know I don't usually make actually helpful videos, but nobody's made a DOV hacks video yet, I think. So look at me getting in there. If you liked this video or found at least one thing that was helpful, leave me a like because that's, that's just, the nice thing to do. Also subscribe if you liked this video and subscribe if you didn't like this video because stuff's always changing on Matt's Third Time Lucky so you might love something in the future. Oh man, I'm so glad that my DOV is over. Oh man, I just wanted death the whole time. Good luck! <laughs>